everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, he was a UFC champion more than a decade ago, more than 40 pro fights to his credit, and Andre Arlovsky on his night can still send the best heavyweights in the world twitching to the canvas. He's got some of the best takedown defense in the history of the division, and of course that allows him to get his hands on you and get the power game going. Training out of Jackson Wink MMA under the watchful eyes of Greg Jackson, Mike Winklejohn, Brandon Gibson. This is a plus athlete who is still getting it done in the big show, Joe. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world class. So here's one of the all-time great lightweights in the history of the UFC, Khabib the Eagle Nurmagomedov, longtime training at American Kickboxing Academy in Northern California from Dagestan, Russia. And a guy who it took a while for him to realize a UFC championship opportunity for Khabib Nurmagomedov. This is a decorated fighter, wrestler, grappler, who brings so much to the table. The Sambo master, Khabib Nurmagomedov. This guy has outstanding defense, and having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. tape for this heavyweight fight. Arlovsky is nine years the elder. He weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down go, right you now. You ready? You ready? All right, so this out. UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and pride with a single night tournament game event here and let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight that one hurt he's looking for that elbow yep not a ton behind it but it landed such good movement in there oh beautiful kick to the body there and he just left himself wide open for that strike very vulnerable by leaning in keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Oh man, he just threw a handmaker. He's got him hurt here. Oh, very nice. So Arlovsky's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. 
Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. to go in a back and forth first round here. Almost hits him with that left hook. Arlovsky gets caught with that punch. Oh, this could be it right here. Seconds now to go in the opening round. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Showing the punch. Oh! That's stunned him! Oh! Oh, straight, no! Stop, stop! Round two straight ahead. Oh, so there's the horn signaling the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Not down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. Second round here. Starting off this round, you've got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Andre Olaski is one of the most athletic guys to ever step into the octagon, and as a heavyweight, his emotion is so good and so quick. How about that shin? Joey missed with that straight right attack. Oh! He's in oh. big, big trouble. Wow! hook on the button for the win. Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Let's take a look at it one more time here. Perfect timing on this punch, and it lands right on the button. Great angle here. Boom! And then he's out. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Let's get to the official decision here once more. Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop for this contest. At one minute, 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Andre the Pit. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night. I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be Thank sure you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.